a transparent, free and fair election. We will go to court within the stipulated time. Within the stipulated time and uh, the legal team is at work already and you'll get more details from His Excellency Peter Obi when he speaks to you. Like I said, this is a prelude to his own speech. Let's bring you more reactions to the declaration of Ahmed Bola Tinubu as president-elect. The Nigeria Civil Society Situation Room has called on the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to provide details of the process leading to the result it collated and announced in the just-concluded presidential and national assembly elections. The convener of the Situation Room, NL, an emergency press briefing, saying that the process was marred by various factors and cannot be considered to have been credible. Obi said the reforms introduced by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in furtherance of the new electoral law was expected to ensure efficient and accountable election management. The also demands that INEC provides information on why it's promised to Nigerians to improve transparency and accountability and the collation process through the introduction of the IREP portal performed below expectation. Up to this moment, the INEC chairman has not apologized to Nigerians and he owes Nigerians apology. So INEC needs to explain to us why this technology worked very well in the off-cycle election of Ekiti or Shuanambara and of course the FCT election, but refused to be living up to his uh, expectation in this particular general election. Members of the Situation Room further called on the Commission to conduct an audit of polling units where elections did not take place to establish reasons for the failure. To establish that the reasons for the failure, you know, the reasons for the failure for those polling units. Situation Room also calls on INEC to note that the public confidence in his capacity to run the election is gravely shaken and that it will require extraordinary effort for trust to be re-established. It is quite clear that even for the governorship elections, INEC is in severe crisis, establishing any confidence in anybody that it can manage the conduct of the state governorship and state assembly elections. I think for a lot of us, confidence in INEC is severely shaken. Situation rooms, observation and analysis of the 2023 general elections also indicate that it fell short of the credibility threshold it set out as basis for evaluating the elections ahead or before the 2023 elections. Election Observer Group, International Police Chaplain, Sustainable Development and Law Enforcement has called on political parties and candidates aggrieved by the outcome of last Saturday's presidential and national assembly elections to use the legal channels to get justice. The Africa coordinator of the group, Johannes Makovia, said this during a news conference on his observations of the election. Makovia acknowledged several inadequacies at polling units and urged the electoral body to build the capacity of ad hoc staff. He also had words of advice for security agencies. Polling center visited allow for peaceful conduct of the voting. It urged them to continue to work to preserve peace and stability in order to consolidate democracy and the rule of law, especially in a challenging social political environment. The United States Based Observer Group was among many international organizations that monitored the February 25th presidential and national assembly elections. A cross section of Portacot residents say they are disappointed over the results of the Saturday, February 25th presidential and national assembly elections and announced by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Those who spoke to AIT in Portacot, the River State Capital, had harsh words for INEC for declaring a winner in an election that was marred, according to them, by irregularities. On Saturday, February 25, 2023, Nigerians trooped out in their numbers to elect a president and members of the National Assembly. In the early hours of Wednesday, March 1, 2023, INEC announced Bola Ahmed Tinubu of the APC as the winner of the presidential election. 
for these Port Harcourt residents, the announcement of Bola Ahmed Tinubu as the president-elect came as a surprise. The recent result that was released is not a result that satisfies anybody, any of us, because we made all our effort, stood under the rain, to make sure that this election is done appropriately. People come out massively later. They turn everything overnight. Now God Almighty, now he go see them. What did not come? Because on Saturday, my unit, everybody voted. But we had a different vote that said Tinubu. So I wonder how our votes can take this time around. They also berated the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, for declaring a winner in an election that was allegedly marred by lots of irregularities. The INEC we saw on the 25th is the same INEC that is conducting this um, governorship election that is about to come. And I don't see any difference. Because the promises that INEC made to us, that those pulling units that the beavers could not transmit, that the promises were they were going to cancel it and maybe they know how to schedule it. But in this time, INEC never told us that they were going to do manual counting. Now, because of the manual counting, that is, what, that is the reason why we are getting what we got today. Before this election, INEC assured us many times that this election will be uploaded on the spot real time so that we can have a we can have the result without issue but the election came and we ended up having a lot of issues people being killed ballot boxes being taken away for example Eliozu, ballot boxes were being cut cut away on saturday march 11 2023 nigerians will again go to the polls to vote for their preferred governorship and state houses of assembly candidates these nigerians want the electoral umpire to make deliberate efforts to get things right zainab sedinu ait news port harcourt from port harcourt to adamawa state where governor amadu fintiri is warning indigents against any opera that is capable of disrupting the peace of the state as a result of the outcome of the presidential and national assembly elections. The governor said this during a state broadcast in Yola, the state capital. Presidential and national assembly elections have come and gone. In the broadcast, the governor Amadou Fintri reminded the people of the state that since the presidential and national assembly elections have been conducted and results decided by the INEC, people should look forward to the governorship and state assembly elections slated for March 11th and not engage in political arguments that could heat up the polity and cause uprising. He warned all to shun any kind of post-election violence as authorities would deal decisively with perpetrators. I urge you to remain calm while we await the announcement of the final outcome of the exercise, while commending the central role of our security agencies in the maintenance of peace and order during the election. Let me warn troublemakers or miscreants not to attempt to disrupt or cause a breakdown of law and order. Without his station, such misguided elements will be held accountable for their action. He announced the ban of activities of non-governmental organizations in the state until governorship and state assembly elections are over. This, according to him, is to ensure sanity in the polity, following observations that such NGOs hide under humanitarian gestures to engage in unhealthy campaigns. It has been discovered that most non-governmental organizations have swallowed the bug and are dumbling into politics in the name of providing humanitarian assistance to the people. Government cannot fold its arm and watch such so-called NGOs mislead the people and inject divisive tendencies into their psyche. In view of the foregoing, government has decided to suspend the activities of local and international non-governmental organizations throughout the state until the 15th of March 2023, when the elections are done. New Ansem, AIT News, Yola. And a bit of development in sports. The Federal Capital Territory Administration, the FCTA, has signed a memorandum of understanding with Nigeria's leading sports promoters, Rattles Sports Development Foundation, to promote grassroots sports development in the Federal Capital Territory, the FCT. The Permanent Secretary of the FCT, Olushola Olashade, while signing the MOU, said the reason for the collaboration between the two bodies is to provide visible contribution to sports development within and outside 
the Federal Capital Territory. Well, later they explained that the Memorandum of Understanding, which is aimed at school sports development, will help discover more talents that will represent Nigeria at national and international competitions. On his part, the president of Rattle Sports Development Foundation and proprietor of the Nigeria Women Professional Football League and Rattles Football Club, Paul Ede, promised to carry out his responsibility under the MOU, bearing in mind the aim and objectives of the agreement. And that's the world news on AIT. I am Ehizo J. Momo. Many thanks for watching.